Holly from Twinkle and today I'm going to share with you how to use number lines to teach fractions. Number lines help to see a fraction as a number that comes between two whole numbers. Also, they help to see fractions as part of a whole, part of a set, or part of a distance. This fraction number line shows quarters. Having this available when learning about quarters is a great way to learn the pattern. Zero, one quarter, or two quarters, which means it's also equivalent to one half. Three quarters, one. By adding squares of paper with the equivalent fractions written on, we can see how the fraction number line can be used to show equivalent fractions. Equally, we could cover them up and ask the child to remember the equivalent fraction. In a similar way, we can use a fraction number line to find missing numbers. There are also fraction number lines with missing numbers available on the Twinkle website. When learning to add or subtract fractions, fraction number lines can be really helpful, especially if you laminate them. We can use a whiteboard pen to write on them. So for this question, one quarter add two quarters, I'm going to find my first fraction, one quarter. I know that two quarters is two jumps because one half is equal to two quarters. So from one quarter, I'm going to do my two jumps. One, two. And again, we could use for subtraction, two and a quarter minus one and three quarters equals. Okay, let's find two and one quarter first. Then I could separate this into one whole and three quarters. So I'm going to take away the one whole first. I now need to take away my three quarters, which I know is three jumps because one jump is one quarter. Fraction walls are a great way to see how fractions are part of a whole. Using a piece of card so that you can cover the fractions completely, you could ask your child to find a fraction equivalent to another fraction. For example, find a fraction that is equivalent to a third. So first of all, you need to find a third. Then follow that black line down. Here, there's another black line. So I've got six and I've got two of them. So one third is equivalent to two sixths. Are there more? Here you can see that we have compared fractions and found equivalent fractions. There are many resources on the Twinkle website to go alongside number lines, such as the Diving Into Mastery Activities and Challenge Cards. Thanks for watching!